Hello and welcome back. You guys now aware about what is virtual machine. Now, when we are talking about container, we are always saying that container is actually lightweight virtual machine. Now, the question is how container is lightweight virtual machine? Because container is using concept of OS based virtual machine. I'm going to explain you how this OS based virtual machine means container is actually working. It would be very easy for you to understand this concept guys because now you are already aware about how this virtual machine concept is running right. So now I'm going to explain you how container is working or how we can run container. First of all we need to understand that container is is different than the virtual machine. Virtual machine is using concept of hardware virtualization. Here they are actually sharing hardware of physical machine along with the three different virtual machine. When we talk about container, container is using a concept of OS virtualization. Now, let's say that if you want to create container, first of all, you can, you can create container on a physical machine or in a in a virtual machine okay let's say that i have one virtual machine i'm going to uh, explain you about the virtual machine okay so let's say that i have one hardware on the top of i have hypervisor because without hypervisor you cannot create virtual machine right and in the top of i have operating system now you must have one proper operating system it means you can say that this is your virtual machine. Now this can be your virtual machine or you can also say that hardware and then OS directly. No need to worry. Okay. So this is your basic concept. Operating system is required. Now in order to create virtual machine, what you will do over here, here you will install Docker's, Docker daemon. Okay. You will install Docker daemon on the top of your operating system okay now how you can download this docker daemon so you can go to google you can say that download docker and here it will allow you to download docker uh, docker desktop and here it is for apple linux windows okay so you can use this for anything right now i'm giving you example for the windows system so if you look at this here, we have to install Docker from our main, like Docker on the top of our operating system. Now Docker allowing us to create container. So let's say that using the help of Docker, I can create containers. Okay, so this is my container. And right now I can say that I have three containers running. Okay. C1, C2 and C3. Same like virtual machine environment, the container having a operating system. All three containers will have operating system. Same way, the container having this runtime environment as well. Whatever the runtime environment you want, let's say that for one you want to use JRE or for other you want to use any .NET, you can do this and on the top of this, you can install application as well. Right? So this is, I have container C1 with the full-fledged application running inside this. Now you may have this question that okay, you have just added one another layer, but it doesn't mean that the container is actually lightweight. You are absolutely right. But let me tell you, containers are so lightweight. If we talk about a VM, okay, VM size is always in gigabyte. If we talk about this container, the container size is actually in MB. Now here the question is why containers are so lightweight. To understand this, we need to understand 
One another concept, let me explain you this as well. See, for any operating system, there are two major components. Okay. For any operating system, we have major two components. The first is kernel. And other components we have for our application is actually cell. Okay. There is kernel. And there is cell. Okay. For any operating system. Let's say that if we talk about Windows, if we talk about Linux, if we talk about any operating system, it can be Android or it can be uh, Apple iOS, all the application, all the OS having major two components. One, we call it kernel and another, we call it shell. Kernel means a heart of operating system and kernel is actually the components which is working with the hardware. Okay, which is working with your hardware. Same way, cell is actually how you are interacting with kernel. So, cell is allowing us to interact with the kernel. Now, cell can be two type, GUI or CLI. Okay, and actually user is interacting with this operating system using shell. See, we are saying that uh, Android is actually operating system from Google. We are saying that we have Android 11 or Android 12 or Android 13 operating system version. But if you are using different phones, let's say that if you are using OnePlus phone, you have different graphical user interface. If you are using a Samsung phone, you have different graphical user interface. Why? Because the heart of operating system, the kernel is actually developed by Google itself. Google develop heart of the Android operating system. Now, cell is actually developed by whatever the mobile phones that you are using. They may look like different. They have different uh, graphical user interface, graphical, uh, what we can say that UI, because they, they can develop their own cell, but the main components kernel is always there. Now, when we are talking about virtual machine, okay, in each virtual machine, you have both of these components. So, let's say that if I'm talking about this virtual machine, in this virtual machine, we have cell and we have kernel. This virtual machine also having shell and kernel. This virtual machine also having shell and kernel. So, in normal virtual machine, we have both shell and kernel means we have full-fledged operating system. Now, when we are talking about container, container are actually kind of lightweight because container are actually sharing kernel of your base operating system. So, here we have three containers. And all these three containers are actually using same kernel of your base operating system. They don't have kernel. They are actually, the kernel is actually shared over here from the main operating system. And here they have cell. Okay, they have their own cell. Now cell is not actually resource uh, it is not consuming all the resources. The main heart of operating system is kernel. And here we are actually sharing main kernel of our main operating system. And that's why these containers become so lightweight. If you look at this concept here of the virtual machine, they have full kernel, full shell. In this particular scenario, if you look at this particular scenario, you will find out that here we have full operating system and because they have kernel and cell both of them it is heavy it is heavy in the size as well okay here we are sharing kernel of main operating system that's why they are so lightweight even into the mb 
and that's why here we called it OS base virtual machine I know that you have many questions that how the things are working there are so many questions bubbling from your mind as well but you don't need to worry about this I am going to explain you all this step by step and I want you to take a break as well so take a break I am going to answer all your questions in the next video and once you will complete this topic your concept will be crystal clear for sure so don't worry take a break see you in the next video have a nice day goodbye